Fantastic 2013, uh, 2014 also a decent but more uh, good year in line with the market. 2013, an exceptional year with uh, almost five years of returns in one year. This year a bit uh, more, uh, more uh, normal with 7% uh, returns so far. I would uh, say in general or more general terms that the large company has been performing very well. We have Apple, Microsoft and Hewlett Packard has very strong performance this year. And uh, we have also the big deviations between the different sectors telecommunications being the weakest and uh, technology being the strongest. It's been a lot of talk about bubble pricing. What is priced high? What is priced low? Slide. It's been a lot of talk around uh, the pricing of the technology sector. Uh, if you look on the overall tech sector, it's priced in line with the overall market at 16, 17 times earnings, but it's growing faster. So we think that's fine. We think it's an attractive place to invest. However, saying that, there are certain areas within the technology sector, cloud computing and parts of the internet, uh, that are at elevated uh, multiples. Those stocks corrected sharply at the beginning of the year, have regained a little bit uh, now, but we still think that, uh, that uh, these stocks are, uh, are grossly overvalued. However, it's a very small part of the technology sector, so, uh, so one shouldn't draw the conclusion that the overall sector is expensive. Apple, one of the world's most recognized brand, still growing. Apple is uh, very interesting and a uh, company both in terms of the products but also in terms of valuation. Apple is now trading between 11 and 12 times uh, this year's earnings, which we find very attractive for a company growing earnings uh, close to 10% uh, annually. I think some of the things we look upon as very positive for Apple is the very high customer retention. Very few people are leaving them to move to the Android ecosystem. This year, in particular, there's a very interesting product cycle with the phones with larger screens as well as uh, a watch coming later this autumn, which we think is not fully reflected in earnings estimates. The combination of uh, estimates moving up and low valuation, we think is very favorable for the stock. You've been buying a lot of Oracle this summer and also Yahoo is one of your favorites. Oracle and uh, Yahoo are uh, two very different uh, investments uh, for us, but to start with Oracle, as Anders mentioned, we think it's uh, in the large cap camp in the US, which are very attractively priced. It's priced at uh, around 12 times earnings, and earnings are growing in the 5 to 10% uh, clip. There are excess worries around, uh, around uh, the competition from cloud computing, and we, th we think that they will hold their share and do well over the, over the coming years. That makes this a very attractive uh, investment for us. Yahoo, on the other hand, we, we own that uh, for their ownership stake in Alibaba Group. Alibaba Group is the largest e-commerce company in China and it's coming to the market uh, in the next weeks. Uh, we think that the, the valuation of Alibaba Group are not reflected in the Yahoo share price. We think it's low risk and high upside in Yahoo at these levels. There's a lot of uh, things going on around the world. Uh, crisis in uh, Ukraine and Russia and uh, China, not necessarily doing that well. Can technology stay away from the broad market and do something? A lot of instability around in the world we talk about uh, Ukraine and, uh, and the uh, Russian crisis. I think the risk for tech, which is a very international uh, sector, is obviously there. And we think the main risk will be that the market share could shift from Western companies to Chinese companies and that there will be a closer tie between Russia and China uh, if this uh, crisis persists. So that's obviously a risk. When it comes to the Chinese market in particular and the macro risks uh, down there that's been around for some time, we think it's still around. We still invest in uh, attractively priced Chinese companies and companies with exposure to China, which have a favorable valuation. But there's obviously a macro risk uh, for, the, uh, for the Chinese end market. Are you positive to uh, technology going into the second half of uh, 2014 and also with regards to outperformance? As I earlier mentioned, uh, when it comes to the pricing of the sector, it's still a very high risk premium, which is good. Interest rates are still very low and uh, the larger companies within tech is very attractively priced compared to the structural growth we see in the, in the industry. So we, keep, uh, on, uh, we are still on the positive side when it comes to valuation and uh, opportunities in the sector.